You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy, and I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So, I just finished this book yesterday. And wanted to make a video of it, but I was just like, you know, at the end of the day, you're too tired, and I didn't get to film it for you guys. But here it is. Um, this this was a good book. Um, this book is called Eleventh Hour by James Patterson and Maxine Patro. And here's what this is about. Detective Lindsay Boxer must investigate two violent cases, and the Women's Murder Club may not be able to help. Boxer is pregnant at last, but her work doesn't slow for a second. When a millionaire is mercilessly gunned down, Lindsay discovers that the murder weapon is linked to the deaths of four of San Francisco's most untouchable criminals, and it was taken from her own department's evidence locker. Anyone could be the killer, even one of her closest friends. Lindsay is next called to the most bizarre crime scene she's ever seen. Two bodiless heads displayed in the garden of a world-famous actor. After another head is unearthed, Lindsay realizes that the ground could hide hundreds of victims. Then a reporter launches, launches a series of vicious articles about the case, and Lindsay's per personal life is laid bare. But this time she has no one to turn to, especially not Joe. So this book has 375 pages, actually 378. No, wait. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. 387 pages. 387 pages, you guys. And it was, it has 119 chapters. So this was a long one, but it was a good one. Um, it kept me guessing until the end. And I am, may or may not have read James Patterson before. But this time, they collaborated on a book called 11th Hour. Maxine Patro. I haven't heard of this author before. But knowing what I know now about communication, email, fax, um, writing letters, calling people on the phone, Skyping, um, there's a lot of different ways for authors to collaborate with one another. Um, I think it's neat that they do that. Um, it must be interesting trying to write a book where people, one author is responsible for one part and one is responsible for the other. But it can work, and apparently it does, because these two authors collaborated very well with each other, and they produced a book together. And I have good news, guys. This it has a Kindle edition, and it's just a little bit cheaper than the, hard, the, the paperback or the hardcover. I believe it comes in hardcover. Not sure. Um, this, like I said, this is a this is kind of a murder mystery. Um, so if you like drama and mystery, this is a good genre for you guys to um, discover. And James Patterson, he is pretty famous on his own because he has a number of books that he has published and people love him as an author um, himself. So, um, do I recommend this book? Absolutely. Um, there is some gore, some um, adult themes um, going on because it deals with motives and it deals with relationships and things like that so it would be probably for an older audience probably 18 plus but 
if you want to be a little older than that, you know, 18 plus means, you know, you have your, your young adulthood and then you become an adult fully after that. Um, but this kept me guessing until the end and it was really interesting to see the events unfold and it like I said it, it deals with some adult themes um, one of them having to do with um, possible infidelity um, is the nicest way I can put it um, so definitely it's for an older audience um, it's it was rated by let's see USA Today, Publishers Weekly, and it's all around a good book. And James Patterson is one of the world's number one best-selling writers, so that is awesome. And he must have worked really hard for it. Um, I can't say that I have heard of Maxine Patro before. Um, I might have to investigate what books she or he have written. Um, because names are hard to guess nowadays and could be either or. Anyway, um, I recommend this very highly. Um, if I had the chance to reread it again, I probably would. Um, but I'm the book reviewer. <laughs> it's what I do. Um, so I will put links down in the description below to where you can find it on Amazon um, so you can get the Kindle edition um, but until then thanks for watching thanks for subscribing keep reading don't stop believing and we will see you again tomorrow bye guys